Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Today I have some exciting news to share with you. I'm doing a kind of reboot of sorts of our Let's Make an MMO in UE4 series. Here's why. Over the past two years, Unreal Engine has had a lot of changes, and this has made some of the step-by-step -step tutorials I made previously a bit hard to follow. Since each video built on the video before it, you were required to complete them in order. This is something I'd like to fix going forward. To do this, I will be providing a copy of the project prior to each video. This will allow you to pick and choose specific videos that have topics that interest you without having to follow along with the entire series. Prior to this video, there are close to 50 videos that could easily take 50 plus hours. It's actually more than that. <laughs> I think even if I were to follow along with the videos, I think it might take me 100 hours. Um, it's There's a lot there. Uh, and I know there's a lot of you guys who have followed along with the whole series and done all of them, and I um, mean, that's amazing. I, it's a lot of work. <clears throat> anyway, this makes it difficult for those that are just starting out to catch up to where we are now. Um, if you've done it recently, you've noticed, even starting in the first video, Epic changed uh, one of those animation nodes um, from a regular BP node to a pure BP node, and I get asked all the time, wait, it looks different. And as you go along, there's more of those. You know, that's just what happens, things change. Um, and so hopefully this will, this will work better. Um, also, previously in this series, I had said we won't be using any C++, and that was a poor choice. It was really um, evident in the um, skill tree. The skill tree videos is where it was really evident. Just I wasn't happy with how that turned out. Maybe we'll go back and revisit that. Uh, the kind of complex stuff we're trying to do just can't be done efficiently with zero C++ and pure blueprints. So in the future, we will be using C++ in places it makes sense. So you'll want to make sure you have Visual Studio. Um, this project is on 4.24.3, uh, which runs Visual Studio 2017. Starting in 4.25, we will be using Visual Studio 2019. I was hoping that this video would be on 4.25. I actually had this already last weekend, but I've been holding off hoping that this week they would fix 4.25. Currently, there is a breaking gameplay ability system error where if you edit one of the nodes, it just crashes the desktop. There's a fix for it, but it's not in the launcher version yet. So I'm waiting for the launcher version of UE4 to be updated before I move over to it. Okay, let's take a look at how to install the project. So you'll see here that there's a uh, page I've set up, and this is where you're gonna come to anytime you need to download a version for a video, and this will be linked in the description of this video and all videos going forward. Um, but it's saberdartstudios.com forward slash docs forward slash let's make an MMO. And we've got some instructions here, and then this is the version that's out there right now. You can see I actually packaged it last weekend. Um, so we're going to go through these steps and set it up. <clears throat> In the future, there will be more rows down here as we add new ones. It will tell you what video it's related to. This is just the date. And, and what version of UE4 that project is in. So this one's 4.2, 4.3. Hopefully the next one will be 4.25. We'll see, I don't know. Um, but they'll all be updated here for each video. This is before the video. So if you wanted something after the video, like if you wanted after part 39, you would go find the next one, the part 40. Okay, so many of you may have existing ODBS accounts you're not going to want to use those. You're going to want to create a new one. Um, you'll see why in a minute we have to run something that's going to add all of the missing data that you would have accumulated from doing all the previous videos. And so it's just best to create a new account. Um, the emails don't have to be real. So if you don't have another email address, make something up. So we're going to create a new account. I'm actually going to make a copy of this because I want to keep the instructions open. I should have made this target blank. I didn't. Okay, let's make an MMO reboot. I'm going to make up an email address here, and make up a password. Mm. 
Yeah, it's not that one. Copy it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so you'll see here that there's a new... Well, let's go back to this to make sure we're following along. So we created a new account. After you log in, click on the convert account to let's... Okay. So we got to click on this. I got a warning here. It'll delete all the data in your account, only use it on brand new empty accounts. So if you accidentally click this thing, again, I got a little bit of a safety here, but if you click it twice, you will destroy your existing OWS account. Don't do that. Only do it on a brand new account that you just created like we did. Are you sure you want to delete all the data and convert this account? Yes. Okay, your account's been converted. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so we now have our key. And this is the point where we'd come down here and download this, okay? So I have downloaded it right here, and I've unzipped it, and I'm going to come into config, and I'm going to go to the default game.ini, and I'm going to paste this in here. Don't, don't use this customer key. It's going to get changed before this video gets uploaded. Okay. So you need your own. I'm not going to set up the RPG world server right now, but we will in the future. We're not going to need it for what we're doing today. Add a world server in the world servers tab. Okay. World servers tab. Uh, so this is where you'd go into this world servers tab and you'd set it up. I have other videos showing how to do this. We don't need to waste time on it here. Um, it's pretty easy. You really just hit the button and it adds it because you can just take the default IPs because it fills them. So. Nothing special there. Uh, download the version of Let's Make a Project. Oh, we already did that. Make sure you have appropriate U version for the project. You download this won't work. Unzip. I guess I don't tell you. I need to update this to tell you you got to set up the project. Yeah, anyway. I'll fix that. We did it here. We unzipped it. Okay, this is a big one. Do not try to open the project. So if you double click this U project right now, delete everything. Well, don't delete the zip file, delete everything else and start over. Okay, so what we have to do is have to use the UE4 launcher to create an empty project of the same version. Okay, I actually do this anyway and have a project called all content of whatever version I'm currently working on and all the contents in it because it works really good for just going over and opening up content and previewing it and migrating it to the project you're working on. So what we're going to do is we are going to find that project, which I thought I already had open, which I don't. I'll find it real quick. I know where it's at. So I made, basically went into the launcher and just made an empty project of the same version, 4.2, 4.3. And then what I did is I downloaded these four content packs from Epic. Right, so these are free. And then I installed them to that launcher version, right? Okay, so I installed them to that. So it's the all content full um, project, and then I installed these to it, and so now they're in it. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy them across. So I am opening that up. So I have this one here called all content 424. I usually put the name in it so I know, know which one and can't get mixed up. This has the content I need, right? So you see here, these are the folders i got to copy. Kite Demo, Paragon Props, Paragon Rampage, and Paragon Seraph. And then it's going to relink them. So we're going to come over here. We're going to open up content. It has this MMO, which is the content I've pulled out for this. I've rearranged. This project is not even close to where we left off in the last video. It's had a lot of work done. Okay, so I'm going to grab these and I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste those over to here. Okay, so now that it's finished copying, close that, we'll come back over here. Okay, oh, I did have it. I'm just doing things in the wrong order. So here's you got to open the default game.ini file in Notepad and put your API key in, which was found on the dashboard. Save the file and closed it. Now it is time for us to open the U project. And of course, if it asks to rebuild, we say yes. 
and if that fails, then we got to generate project files, and right now it's VS 2017 that'll do that. Okay, let's give it a try and see where we're at. We'll, we'll want to edit this later too. I guess it's not going to ask us to rebuild. Okay. That's good. You may get a thing that pops up that says, hey, do you want to rebuild this project? And just say yes. And then if that fails, you'll have to right-click on new project, generate project files, and rebuild it with Visual Studio. But one of those methods will work. Yours will probably take a long time to load here. I don't think mine is because the derived data cache, I've already done this project like three or four times. Even though it's a different project, it's sharing the derived data cache, and so it's probably not going to have to rebuild all the shaders, hopefully. Yours probably will. So opening your project, you know, depending on the PC, it could take 30 minutes to an hour. Just let it sit there and run. Some of it may not be opening it too. Some of it may be after you open it. There might be uh, compiling shaders down here, and it might be pretty large. We'll see. Okay, we're coming in here. So there's some stuff you may not have open that you will need. You will need this Windows Levels if you don't have that open. You saw I also opened this here. And then we also always have Message Log and Output Log, which you can define, find in Developer Tools, Message Log, Output Log. If you don't have those open, open them now. You will need them. Also, this will need to be checked, Run Dedicated Server. 425 actually changes this, and it's called Run Client. So, Run Dedicated Server, you need that on. Let's load up our tiles. Just right-clicked on there and hit load. Now, there's still some problems. Not everything, not everything fixed itself perfectly. You can see it got mad about some three things here, and there are a few broken references we will have to deal with. We're going to take a look at what we've got at this point, kind of where we're at, and what's working, what's not working, what we need to f what we need to fix. Might take us a few videos to do all of the fixing, but it'll help us to get very accustomed to what we've done. Because to be honest, I mostly forgot. <laughs> it's like, oh, we did that. That's cool. Um, also, I remembered some of the spots where things were broken. Okay, so probably the first thing we want to do. those aren't massive, is run it and try some stuff. So I'm going to hit play, just so you know. I'll go in here real quick. BP main, this is where these are at. It um, A test character was created when you created your account, and this game mode is pointing to it in test. And if you need to change your start location, there it is there. So we should be all good to go. I put in the API key. See what happens. Okay, so we can walk around. Okay, uh, so we got this problem where it swings once and then I can't swing again. So there's, a, there's some broken stuff going on there. Let's we'll take a look at that. The Q and E keys don't work, which you remember we had to turn on here, but we don't have any skill points. So we got a problem there too. Um, let's start with the skill point one because it's super easy to fix. So if you look in the code, you'll see we use premium currency. So if I come back over to here, and I go to characters, and I go to edit character, and I scroll down to premium currency, if I put a three in it, we'll get three skill points. Now if I hit play again, there's three skill points. Okay. But then it gets, oops, then it gets a different error. So it gets this error about update skills per tier on skill change graph. <clears throat> so what happened here is there's some stuff that's broken. And it is because we do not have the custom data that we need. Um, so we'll come back out here. And custom data. Okay, it created it for us. That's cool. So if it didn't, 
Uh, you could just do add custom character data and we could have added skill tree, which is that field that we need. But I guess it created it for us the first time it ran. We'll do a better job of making sure that those get added if they're missing. So I think if we just start this again, I think we're going to find that now it works. Cool. So that now gave us our Q and E abilities. There's Q. I want to make that do a cool explosion kind of thing when you hit and do some AOE damage. And then uh, E is our shooting. There's a lot of problems with this one. Our arm's not moving. We can fix that. And also, I can just sit here and spawn them as fast as I want, which is quite fun. Um, let me fix the... Okay. So we got that. Let's fix the... Uh, just so you know on that one, though. So this is the error that we haven't fixed that you'll have to do. So when I start back up, even though it shows all of them, I can't use Q or E. So if you remember from the previous videos, I have to do this every time I want them back. Which is super annoying. We will fix that. And now I get those abilities back. Okay. Let's fix the, fix the combo swinging. So ability system, abilities. Attack. It's this combo with attack weapon collision. And there's a couple problems with it. So, these gameplay, wait gameplay tag events lost. They lost their tags. I, I don't know why. You know, upgrading projects and moving files around and all always creates a mess. So, these are called gameplay events. And I believe the first one is start combo. And the second one is end combo. Okay. So the second thing that we have to look at is that in this one, in this um, montage, there needs to be some events. And you'll see here I have Sarath Anims under. MMO, which is our content. So what we have to do now to make this new system work where we can paste files underneath and get them to relink is all the content we modify has to get moved into the MMO folder. So we've got that here, and that's good. Um, but unfortunately, it lost them because the skeleton's not there. So, like if I go to a notify here, and I try to add the start combo or end combo, they're not here. Uh, so what we have to do to fix that is to go to our skeleton here. And we've got our anim notifies. I don't know why the reset combo is there. Anyway, you can go. I right clicked new. We have one called start combo. And we have one called end combo. And just to refresh your memory, those are over here start combo and end combo. And I was worried that these would have to get recreated and they wouldn't relink, but they do. So no issue there. So what we'll do is we'll come back to our animation and we're going to kind of come in here and take a look. So what I did before is that I created the combo around the point where it hangs. So you see how there's a point where right in there it kind of hangs. So let's say maybe start the combo here. And maybe end of the combo. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, adjust these depending on how hard or how easy you want it to be to do a combo. So the closer they are together, the more your timing is going to have to be exact. Uh, I think that was all I had to do. Let's take a look. It was more than that. So, let's go back to our gameplay ability. We play in the gameplay ability. Those events are being fired here, here, 
And we'll see when they get fired, that one's going to say end combo and that one's going to say start combo. And combo activated when you actually activate it. Take a look real quick. I wasn't watching it to see what it was saying. Yeah, it's not uh, not hitting them at all. Which means it's never ending, which is bad. And that's why it's not able to reactivate. Come here, check all these settings. They look good. We've got our start combo and end combo. We've got our notifies here. Primary fast attack montage. Primary fast attack montage, and then that turns into this B one. Okay, in this situation, what we do is we add more print strings. Notify start combo. Watch to see if it hits that. If it's not going to hit that, nothing's going to happen. <clears throat> okay, cool. Well, that's good. So it's hitting the start combo. Awesome. Did I, did I give it the wrong name? No, I gave it end combo. on the dedicated server. Good. Let's stick one here just to be safe. I assume it's calling this too. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know what it is. Dump those. These are in our player character. They lost their tags too. <laughs> so we weren't actually sending anything. Start combo. End combo. And now it's going to work. That's what happens when you wait a week to do the video. Forget a few things. There you go. See, it correctly did the start and end combo, and it lets us do it. Now let's try to do a combo. Ah, there we go. Okay, you got to kind of do it at the, at the start of it. So anyway, you can kind of adjust those and see. Let's do some other stuff here. So we've got these some AI. We're going to work on those and make those a little bit better. As I was fighting them the other day, I realized they're kind of stupid. So we can kill them. Oh. We can run with shift. And you can see it's taking our yellow bar whatever we call that, energy, I guess. You can also see that when I killed it, it gave me 100 experience points. And you can also see that I was trying to activate these, but could not. <laughs> that was the K key to get that open. I want to have some fun with this one. Okay, here we go. Come at me. Come over here. <laughs> oh, this other one didn't respawn. But that one did? Oh, that's weird. I think we'll have to go work on our mob spawners, too. And you can see there are a ton of rampage errors there. Those are ones we fixed before, but we lost because we pulled it back in, so we've got to fix that again. <laughs> 
Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, so we also have this here we were working on, but it needs some work. So we've got Z to interact. Z doesn't close it again, though. You actually have to hit I to close it. So we need need some work on that one. Um, we've got some IK, foot IK that actually was kind of cool. So you can see here. That works. The turn in place is not working. Okay. It's missing the... It's missing the setup on the anims, so we will fix that in a future video. Um, but the respawn is working. Wait, I don't think I should have gotten 1100 XP. I only killed three, right? Oh, this is going to take a while to die. <laughs> so I lowered the damage that they do. I guess it's not going to be too bad. They were killing me in like three hits, so I was like, no, this isn't good. We may have to look into that XP. Unless the other mob was set to be a different amount. It's been a while. We'll have to go take a look. I was going to show you the respawn here. Because there is an error on the respawn as well. We've got lots of errors to fix. Kill me. There we go. Yeah, I love how it throws. One time it actually threw my character like flying all over the place. Uh, so the mouse doesn't come up. It also keeps attacking, too. It shouldn't do that. So if you hit the tab key, it'll bring up the mouse cursor, and you can hit the respawn, and then hit the tab key again to make it go away. So we got some work to do, um, but we got, a good, we got a good starting point. There's a lot of, a lot of good stuff already implemented. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff I want to do. Uh, lots of things on my list. Um, I want to do some better, um, better movement animation stuff uh, with the Paragon characters. They have... They have the ability to do um, to do better movement animation that's going to look better. So I want to play around with that. I want to fix these mobs. I want to fix some of the other stuff. And just uh, show you guys a lot of new things that I've learned over the past year uh, working on a different project. So I think that's where we're going to leave off for today. Uh, if you have any, uh, any questions, let me know. Uh, any um, anything you'd like to see us take a look at? I have a big backlog from previous stuff people to ask, have asked, um, but if there's something specifically you want to see us take a look at, throw it down in the comments. I try to read all the comments. One note on the comments, just so you know how YouTube works, because it's super annoying, is that if you make a top-level comment, there's a pretty good chance that I see it, and I'll respond when I get a chance. If you reply to a comment that already exists, there is 0% chance I will see it unless I somehow accidentally go to my own video, which almost never happens, and then scroll through the comments because YouTube doesn't notify us of comments on comments, only the original comment, unfortunately. So uh, just be aware of that. Okay, until next time, see ya.